When we think about the origins of English rule in Ireland, a few key figures and events come to mind. An English Pope, an Irish King seeking help, a pagan horse sacrifice ritual, and the influence of the Catholic Church. In this video we will explore the fascinating story of the Norman invasion of Ireland, the role of the Church, and the persistence of ancient traditions in the midst of political change. The story begins with Dermot MacMurrow, the deposed King of Leinster. MacMurrow was forced into exile in 1166 due to a combination of political rivalries and his own actions, including the abduction of Dervigala, the wife of Tiernan O'Rourke. In an effort to reclaim his kingdom, MacMurrow sought assistance from Anglo-Norman lords, including Richard de Clare, also known as Strongbow. In 1169, a group of Anglo-Norman knights led by Robert Fitzstephen and Maurice de Prendergast landed in Ireland, marking the start of the Norman invasion. The invasion was supported by the church to some extent. Pope Adrian IV, the only English pope in history, issued a papa bull, Lauda Biliter, in 1155, granting King Henry II of England the right to invade and govern Ireland to reform the Irish church. Later, Pope Alexander III confirmed the lordship of Ireland in 1171. However, the Irish church had not been paying its tithe and the church aimed to rectify this issue and align the Irish church more closely with the Roman Catholic church in Rome. One of the most intriguing aspects of pre-Christian Irish culture that persisted even after the arrival of Christianity was the ritual of horse sacrifice at a king's coronation. This ancient practice, rooted in Celtic pagan beliefs, involved the killing of a horse as a symbolic offering to ensure the fertility of the land and the success of the new king's reign. It also served to demonstrate the connection between the king and the divine, affirming his status as a ruler chosen by the gods. Despite the spread of Christianity in Ireland, Remnants of pre-Christian traditions like horse sacrifice continued for some time, reflecting the unique blend of religious and cultural elements in the Irish Church. Once the English turned Protestant during the Reformation, the Catholic Church's relationship with the English crown changed. In 1554, Pope Julius III conferred the title of the Kingdom of Ireland to King Philip of Spain and Queen Mary of England in an attempt to bring Catholicism back to England and Ireland. This move was driven by a desire to counter the spread of Protestantism and maintain the influence of the Catholic Church in the region. So, what do an English Pope, horse sacrifice and an Irish King have in common? These seemingly unrelated elements are all part of the complex story of the origins of English rule in Ireland. The Norman invasion, driven by political and territorial ambitions, was supported by the Catholic Church to consolidate ecclesiastical power and enforce religious uniformity. Meanwhile, Ancient traditions like horse sacrifice gradually disappeared as the Irish Church transformed under the influence of the Roman Catholic Church. The changing relationship between the Church and the English Crown, especially during the Reformation, further highlights the intricate web of politics and religion that shaped Ireland's history. 